Okay, so here's five tips for how you can stop procrastinating when you're revising. So this is something that I actually still do in my daily life and as a teacher. So I have some sticky notes or just pieces of paper next to me when I'm doing something or when I'm working. And if a thought comes to my head that I need to deal with later, what I'll do is I'll write it down that sticky note. So then it's out of my brain and I can actually focus on the work that I need to do. What I want you to do is have sticky notes or have some pieces of paper next to you when you're revising. If a thought comes to your head, I don't know, something about I need to watch Gossip Girl or how did this, this happen in Gossip Girl, write it down on that piece of paper and then after your revision come back to it because then it's out of your brain and you can actually focus on what you need to do in your study session the second thing is that you need to have clear goals and objectives and what i mean by that is if you're sitting down to do some biology revision instead of saying to yourself i'm going to do some biology revision today you need to actually be specific what are you actually going to achieve by the end of that revision session are you wanting to know what aerobic respiration is and the difference between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Don't just say, I'm going to study biology today. Be specific. Know what you want to achieve so you can actually work towards that. That way your mind's not wondering. You know that you have to actually work on X and you need to achieve that by the end of the session. The third thing is that you need to have focused study sessions. Don't just sit there for a whole hour and a half trying to do stuff. What you need to do is you need to use the Pomodoro method to make sure you've got short study sessions that are actually really effective and you're maximizing your time. And the fourth thing that you need to do is you need to start with the hardest topic first. I know that this might be long and I know it might be hard, but when you're starting your day and you're starting your revision, you have the most energy then, you have the most motivation then. So you need to use that on a topic that you find hard. As well as that, what it will do is that once you've conquered that, it'll give you that sense of achievement that will give you some more motivation to actually then go throughout your day and do more studying and let you know, focus on other different parts of your subject. Because the thing is, the hardest topic is the one that you, you need more like energy for. So if you give it if you give that energy to it at the start of the day then you'll probably be more productive than towards the end of the day when you're tired now when you're tired you're not going to want to give that energy to a topic that you find hard so isn't it better that you give that energy to a topic that you actually understand a lot better at the end of the day rather than at the start of the day Last but not least, what you need to do is you need to use active recall methods when you're studying. That's making sure that you're doing something with your revision rather than just sitting there and passively doing some revision. 